good evening to all. We haven't added any information on YouTube recently as we have been busy with receiving information and studying it. Thus, we now share our experience with you. Meanwhile, our boiler has gone ahead getting more and more requests. Our special greetings to all of them who followed us on YouTube and not only. And a special greeting to those who discussed our project negatively, saying that our boiler doesn't function, wondering and doubting if it had any certification, if we knew the laws of physics. As regards the certification, we have had it for two years. As regards the loss of physics, we will speak about it later. As regards the boiler, here it is and it functions. The boilers haven't been changed a lot from 1950 until now. Only electronic applications or fire fans have been added that blow the air inside the burner where the fire is. Meanwhile, we have taken away everything, both electronic applications and fire fans being the only micro company that proves to get tranquility without any problems. I don't think that there are other companies that can guarantee that. I would like to remind you that we have always committed ourselves and we will always do that. There are phone contacts and email addresses so that you can contact us in the case of any doubts or questions, being at your disposal to give the opportunity to touch with your own hands whatever we have created. And in case you need more information, you can be in contact with our clients that have already tried our boiler and they will explain you how it functions based on their own experience. So I would like to remind you that in February 2014 we took part in the world's most important international exhibition, Project of Foco. As testifies our gifts we were given on the last day. We were exhibitors there. We were there with our device and was on and functioned normally. So it was there with the radiators on and with the boiler on for the domestic water. At the exhibition, different engineers were passing to see the temperature of the water with this instrument. And it was 94 degrees in and 90 degrees out, with very little combustion inside the heater. Of course, there is some reason why in the other heaters it was 60-65 degrees. We have just optimized the time and the combustion, which is enough to heat the radiator. As in the case of the experiment, when we compare two pots for boiling the water in our pot and in the traditional pot. As you can see, it takes half the time in comparison with the traditional pot and it already produces steam at 40 degrees. Very often we receive emails where our device can be applied. I can just reply that it can be applied anywhere when hot, steam, water, air or liquid is requested. Please go on with sending us your emails as they stimulate us to explore new applications of our device. Another frequent question is the optimization of the wood heater with exchangers. We never agree with this because our heater functions perfectly without exchangers. But in the case you, your application needs it, we don't have anything against and we can do that. For example, a train which leaves Rome for Florence without any stops, it takes less time and less energy. And vice versa. If the same train goes with more stops, it takes more time and more energy. That is to say, if the water passes through exchangers and plates, it loses more energy and more thermal power. In our days, they discuss a lot the greenhouse effect, the pollution, the cars, the heaters, etc. It is very important to know that our device causes 50% less pollution, as a result, we say 50% of combustion. Another thing I would like to speak about is why we don't have any forum, although our heater functions so perfectly. At the moment we cannot permit us having a forum, as being a micro company we can't follow it at the moment. Later on with the expanding of the company we will open also our forum. 
This is our last application. We have applied it, our device to build on old fireplace without loom. That's now are very fashionable. This fireplace heated 15 square meters with our system, as you can see with 100 degrees. It is 60 square meters with the same quantity of combustion. In this room, of one hour ago it was 14 and now it is already 25.5 degrees. Before presenting you all stuff, I would like to show you a short video of a 500 square meters house with the comments and opinions of the owner of the house. How has this heater appeared in my house? I started from a fireplace, but that heated a big house of 350 square meters, and 60 and 70 kilos of wood was needed each time, and I had to put the wood twice a day as minimum. Practically, what happened in winter? I had to go out to load a wheelbarrow with wood. Later I go in and to empty it and after two, three hours I had to fill in the wheelbarrow again with the wood. Of course it is not so comfortable to do all this in winter when it is so cold. The difference is that for this heater I take the wood just in my arms and I put in the heater. How does this heater function? Actually I take just four five pieces of wood and put in the heater. Look how small the space is, maximum for only 12 kilos of wood. I go out in the morning to fill in, in the heater, later I come back in the evening at about half past 8, 9 o'clock. I fill in again with the wood and the heater goes on later. If I want, I fill in again the heater after three hours, but actually it is optional to fill in for the third time or not, because the house is already quite warm. So filling the heater with the combustion maximum for three times, if not two, I hit a house of 500 square meters. So, there are about 30 radiators in this house, here there is one radiator, as I have told before, over there another one, and it is a three-story house, also the last floor is getting heated, of course. So, I spent about 500 euro per year to hit a house of about 500 square meters. Before with the fireplace, with all the difficulties, I spent 1,000 or 1,100 euro. Now I spent half of it thanks for this innovative system, about 4 euro per day. So I don't pay almost anything for this heating. And a nice surprise that I had is that I don't have to use the perfect quality of oak wood as I have to use in the case of fireplace. The wood that cost 20, 13 euro per kilo. Well, now I can use this wood that costs only 5 euro per kilo. Because this is the wood of pruning, for example, chestnut wood, poplar wood, wood that costs almost nothing. There are no problems, the house is warm, and besides, it is also the water. Having connected also a boiler, actually I have also hot water. I have put a boiler of 150 liters, you can see it here behind, and I take a good shower. As you can see, here behind is the boiler. 
Basta. E questa è That's qua. it. Praticamente questa è Tactically, una battaglia questa è una heater che non crea problemi. Questa è una cosa che ha problemi. Qui l'unica cosa che ha è il pompo che serve per circolare l'acqua e 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 per circolare either at the beginning of the season as it doesn't have a thermal unit so you can go and turn on the heater after one year and it starts as everything is simple and nothing can be broken and besides Emilio explained to me this small detail actually there was a valve that served to send all the hot water of the boiler once arrived on the temperature as needed as 60 uh, degrees to the radiators and besides Emilio explained to me this small detail the fact is that in this case there is not any valve actually there was a valve that served to send all the hot water of the boiler once arrived on the temperature as needed as 60 degrees to the radiators. I asked what was the reason as it is the right way that all, uh, that all the energy goes to the radiators once the water arrives to the temperature expected. As per his experience it doesn't serve and he took it off. As for example, while you are having a shower, the bell is broken and so you remain without water. You have to call for the technic to change the valve. So, it creates problems. So he has taken it off and has connected the boiler directly to the heater, of course being totally secured, so there aren't any problems. I have always hot water without any problems with this system. It goes on perfectly and I'm totally satisfied having all the house heated so well. I have to confess that when I was told about this innovative system, I didn't believe that this device could heat a big house of 500 square meters. Well, it is. Not only hits, but totally I spent only 3.54 euros per day to heat the house and more than that. I have also domestic water to be able to have a good shower. Better than this, I couldn't even imagine. I think that this is the ideal choice. And I do advise it also to the others. It's unbelievable. To tell the truth, until one doesn't see it, he cannot believe that. In fact, it is a patent. It's not like the other technologies. Otherwise, a device like this, only 1.20 meters or height and 60 centimeters width couldn't hit such a big house. So I am really satisfied and lucky. I'm lucky because I know all this information. Otherwise, as all the others, I also would have bought a nice heater of 8,000 or 10,000 euro and would have filled much more times the wood big like this 40 centimeters.
You have had the chance to see the video of the heater in a so big house. Now I'd like to present you our stuff. I present you our Steve Jobs. Hello, I'm Daniel Liberati and I am occupied with the informatics. I present our engineer. Hello everybody, I'm Manuel and I'm occupied with the technical part of the company. I present you our two collaborators, Simona and Elisa. Hello to everyone, now we are working for this innovative project which is about a new wood heater which produces all day instead of water and consumes and pollutes 50% less. As you can see, we are young and qualified staff and please don't hesitate to contact us for any further information. Bye! Our heater is like a neon lamp that consumes less and keeps warm. I will say advice to everyone. Cheers!